Hi friends. So I am suffering from frozen shoulder, or as it is technically called, uh, adhesive uh, capsulitis. Now I have had treatment from the doctor, but even before I could uh, start with the physiotherapy sessions, this lockdown started, and now it's almost a month. So rather than uh, waiting for uh, any further uh, for treatment through a medical professional, I referred to internet and found out few basic exercises which should uh, ease uh, your discomfort and reduce the pain that uh, you have been suffering from. While the treatment uh, can last from months to years, the recovery time all depends from person to person, whether you are doing the right kind of exercises and uh, how carefully you are listening to the medical advice. Uh, just a small disclaimer, I am not uh, a doctor, so a medical professional's uh, guidance is always recommended. Before we begin with the exercises, I'll show you some uh, very basic tools uh, that would be required or I should say are the prerequisites that's required uh, for us to begin with the exercises. The first is the band. Uh, I have an injury in my left shoulder, so frozen shoulder on my left arm. So I'm wearing this band and you'll generally find people going to the uh, gyms wearing this. Uh, you get a little bit of comfort while doing it. Then. This is a grab handle, uh, this is a stick, so I'll show you how this is useful while doing the exercise. And uh, then this is an elastic band, this is typically used for locking luggages, uh, it's stretchable and this band should be good enough uh, to do some lightweight exercises which can free up your shoulder. And uh, with this elastic band I have made a couple of grab handles using uh, aluminium strips and this can be used to hold the band and do some uh, stretching. So these are very basic tools and other than that, there's also a water bottle or a small can which you can grab it uh, properly and as we proceed uh, with this video, I'll show you what are the exercises that need to be done. Number one, the first exercise is the pendulum stretch. So first we need to do some warm up exercises before we start with the stretching. So uh, this is the bottle I have, luckily the shape of the bottle is such that I can grab at the top. You can also uh, do it using a can. Uh, this basically needs to be a very lightweight. Remember do not stretch your shoulder, do not do any exercises where you are feeling a discomfort. So in the pendulum stretch I hold this and keeping my shoulders loose uh, and just going back and forth. I keep rotating my arm, so I do an anti-clockwise uh, for say 10 or 15 times and once I have done that, similarly uh, I do a clockwise uh, rotation. So I typically uh, do a set of 10-10 rotations per side and thrice a day. So this is the first exercise which is pendulum stretch. So this is the second one, that's the spider walk and this is not just for frozen shoulder, I am also suffering from uh, tendonitis. So for details on tendonitis, you can have uh, a look on the internet, it is basically a sports persons or people lifting heavy weight uh, who generally face this. But I have also suffered from tendonitis and for tendonitis, I just need to do spider walk, just come close to any wall. Keep it stretching to the extent where you can comfortably stretch it and uh, other than frozen shoulder and tendonitis since I have also suffered with the rotator cuff muscle uh, tear I should not be overloading my muscles because that's the one which basically helps me in rotating my arm so once I have reached at the top I just hold my arm and gradually bring it down so similarly a spider walk to the top, hold it, hold the muscles, bring it down. So just like uh, a pendulum stretch, the spider walk, I generally do it 10 times, two set, thrice a day. The third one, so the first one was uh, pendulum uh, stretch, the second one was the spider walk, the third one, uh, just keep your arms uh, at the shoulder level on some furniture 
and you just gradually need to uh, bend up and down. What this does is this opens up uh, the arm over here. So in frozen shoulder, what basically happens is uh, you are not able to stretch uh, comfortably across all sides. So just keep your arm. Gradually open it up to the extent you can do comfortably. That's very important. You should not stretch to the zone where you cannot do comfortably. So again, I do this ten times, two sets, twice a day. So as I told you, I've been suffering from frozen shoulder. How to confirm the same? So there are few angles where you will not be able to uh, stretch comfortably. Now I don't have any problem with my right hand. So if you see, if I come here and give this a turn, I can comfortably do this. I can comfortably do this. But the same thing will not happen with my left arm and that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you now. So get hold of a wall or maybe grab an handle near your door. Stand straight uh, in a perpendicular position. Your arms need to be at a perpendicular position. Bend the arms here in perpendicular position and then just rotate it. See, uh, the pro now you can find the problem that with my right arm, when I twist it, I can keep it in a perpendicular position. But on my left arm, as soon as I start rotating it, it stretches. So that's a clear sign of frozen shoulder. And as you start curing, uh, you will find that uh, it retains its original position again. So this exercise, uh, till the extent you can do it comfortably, just hold it, give a turn. I know it's not perpendicular because that's now not the natural position. I need to retain this position. It's quite stiff at my back right now. It's not hurting, it's quite stiff, but I need to retain this position uh, for 30 seconds. Then once I complete 30 seconds, gradually come back, relax and you can probably do this uh, for 5 uh, times, 2 sets, thrice a day. So after using my water bottle which is my first prop for the exercise, now I will be using a stick. Now this is uh, used to grab uh, garbage but uh, nevertheless it's quite helpful to do the frozen shoulder exercises. I've learned this from TV as I, from YouTube as I uh, told earlier. What you need to do is, uh, you can do this exercise two ways. Either uh, have a rope tied uh, on top uh, of a, a hook. You can just uh, grab the rope from one end uh, loose without uh, putting any pressure on your shoulder muscles. And with the arm where you don't have problem, you need to just pull it and your left arm will go up. So that's one way. Uh, I'm doing the other way using this stick. Grab it and uh, mind you just grab it. I'm not going to put any pressure on my shoulder. Uh, with uh, my arm, that's the right arm which doesn't have any problem. I just need to push it till the extent I can do it comfortably. Then bring it down. Now I'm just grabbing it mind you. I'm not uh, using my muscles to do. Uh, this is just to, it's a stretching exercise and also it warms up your shoulder. So again, I do this 10 times, one or two sets, twice a day should be good enough. So that up and down, similarly, you have to do a lateral movement. For doing the lateral movement, I grab the stick, and with my right arm, I just push it gradually, stretching it here, and again bring it to me. So, when I push it, my right arm is in full control of the stick, my left arm is just resting on the stick, and when I bring it, it's the same way. I am not using any force on my left arm, it's completely controlled by my right arm. So, again, I do this 10 times, 2 sets. So, we had the first one that is up down then the lateral movement and the last but not the least I grab it and I push it backwards remember not to overstretch this so I push it this way 
back and forth back and forth while i have done this exercise grabbing the stick i found another innovative way i'm not sure that uh, whether that will be helpful i keep my arm over here just resting without uh, any pressure and i just push my arm so i've tried a variation of this exercise but it's worked so i forgot to show you another prop that's a table so a 3 feet table should be good once you have done all the warm up exercises uh, with regards to the shoulder that's the a pendulum stretch the spider walk and the movement of your arm uh, this is to be done at the back currently i am still finding it a bit tough to do it and since i had a muscle a muscle tear i am not uh, stretching too much but i can show you how to do this just grab the towel at the back either you can pull it from here from the shoulder or there's a lateral way I just need to grab the towel here and with my right arm stretch it, stretch it. So and do not overstretch. Stretch only up to the extent that you can comfortably do. And as uh, weeks pass by and you find that it uh, becomes more easy, then you can possibly stretch more and try to see whether your both arms are in sync. so i have the elastic band which i showed you uh, on amazon you will find uh, proper bands but nevertheless this is not too strong and not uh, not too hard to be stressed i sh think this should be good enough for your basic exercises the drag handles which i have made so take a stool sit there get the elastic latched onto your uh, feet See that it's symmetrical. Sit straight and gradually pull this. Do this as slowly as possible. Do not give any kind of jerk. So the speed at which you pull it, you will have to release it the same way. So this is good enough to open up uh, the joint over here and give more flexibility. Retain back your flexibility which you originally had. So even this, I do ten times, two set, thrice a day. Other than that, uh, when you have done this, you could also just stretch a little backwards so that your shoulder blades try to meet each other. So again, open up uh, the block joints and will uh, help you in stretching. This you can take care. Using the same elastic band, I'll uh, show you. two quick uh, last two exercises so using the hook i basically uh, fix it to my door handle and just uh, pick up this grab handle and my left shoulder i keep it perpendicular in the neutral position and just pull it so this is again helpful in freeing up uh, the joint so do it very slowly don't give any jerk very slowly so this exercise you can uh, do i generally do 10 times two set thrice a day while i don't have any problem with my right arm but i also ensure that it's balanced and i do the same exercise exercise uh, also uh, on my right arm once i have finished with this I do another exercise which is a little bit variation from what I've seen on the internet just hold it and in a perpendicular position turn your wrist in a clockwise and anti clockwise direction so again I do this probably 10 times two sets thrice a day So with this few tools, a water bottle, a towel, a stick, a couple of grab handles, and this elastic band, uh, I managed to do some very lightweight uh, exercises, and this has helped me free up my frozen shoulder. I'm not sure how quickly this will get uh, recovered, but I'm pretty sure these are not uh, done in an incorrect way. I try to watch videos of medical professionals and paramedics who have uh, taught this. I hope uh, this 
video helps you in doing these exercises if you are being suffering from frozen shoulder during this lockdown. Hope uh, we get out of this COVID-19 pandemic very soon and we are able to take care of uh, health. Have a nice day. Do share your comments, thoughts and feedback in the comment section below. Stay safe.